From the ashes of World War II, in the cold crucible of 1970s Germany, amidst the thundering echoes of Forge and Anvil, a legend was born. More than just a main battle tank, this third-generation Titan quickly asserted its dominance, becoming a stalwart of the West German army. Its roar of might and power has since echoed across the globe, leaving a legacy of technological innovation and unyielding strength. From the frozen tundras of Canada to the battle chart front lines of Ukraine, the Leopard 2 has cemented its place in history. Today, we are peeling back the armor on this Titan, delving into its riveting evolution, its transformative design, and the critical role it has played in shaping global military history. Buckle up as we embark on a journey with the Leopard 2, a true Titan of the battlefield. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the Warhorse Online channel. After that, hit that like button and leave a comment and let us know about what you think about the Leopard 2. Alright, suit up people, we're heading to the front lines. The Leopard 2, a pinnacle of German engineering, was developed as a main battle tank by Krauss Maffei in the 1970s. Since entering service in 1979, it had steadfastly held its position as the primary armored force of the West German army. The Leopard 2's sphere of influence isn't confined to Germany. In fact, 13 other European countries and several non-European nations, including Canada, Chile, Indonesia, and Singapore, employ these robust machines within their armed forces. The evolution of the Leopard 2 divides into two notable tranches. The initial series, up to the Leopard 2A4 standard, features a distinct vertically faced turret armor. Subsequent iterations, starting from the Leopard 25A, showcase an angular arrow-shaped turret applique armor, along with an array of upgraded enhancements. The main battle tank commands an imposing presence, with a full length of 9.97 meters, a width of 3.75 meters, and standing approximately 3 meters tall. Depending on the model, it weighs in between 62.3 to 62.5 tons. Inside the Leopard 2, a crew of four operates in a meticulously designed layout. The driver is positioned at the front right of the hull, while the commander, gunner, and loader make their stations within the turret. Armed to its teeth, the Leopard 2 flaunts a Rheinmetall 120mm smoothbore cannon as its primary weapon. Backed by a digital fire control system, laser rangefinder, and cutting-edge night vision and sighting equipment. But that's not all. It also features secondary armament in the form of a 7.62mm MG3A1 machine gun for infantry threats, ensuring it has a versatile response to varied combat scenarios. The main cannon fires a variety of rounds, from APF-SDS for armored threats to heat and multi-purpose anti-tank projectiles for diverse battlefield applications. The Leopard 2's first line of defense is its advanced multi-layered armor, which consists of a composite blend of steel, elastic, and non-metallic materials. Specifically, high hardness and high ductility steel plates are used, offering superior protection against large caliber kinetic energy penetrators and shaped charge projectiles. The front of the Leopard 2, in fact, is designed to withstand 125mm APF SDS rounds fired from a distance of 1500 meters. Even the sides and the rear of this battle tank provide significant protection against heavy machine guns, medium caliber rounds, and older types of tank ammunition. To boost its defensive prowess further, the hull sides are covered in heavy ballistic skirts, and the floor is reinforced with corrugations. Under the hood, the Leopard 2 houses a V12 twin-turbo diesel engine, engineered by MTU Friedrichshafen, which works in concert with a rank HSWL354 hydrokinetic transmission. This beast rolls on an advanced running gear consisting of seven road wheels and enhanced tracks, capable of reaching speeds of up to 70 km per hour on roads and approximately 45 km per hour off-road. With such an impressive set of specifications, the Leopard 2 is unsurprisingly adept at holding a multitude of terrains, whether it's sandy deserts, dense forests, or rugged mountainous regions. Since the Leopard 2 began rolling off the assembly line, it has been deployed across the globe in many conflicts. In June 1999, 28 Leopard 2A5 tanks journeyed into Kosovo as part of the Kosovo Force, or KFOR, operated by the German Army. The tanks, belonging to Panzer Battalion 33 and 214, were used for patrols and for showing military presence. 
Despite a number of minor incidents, the Leopard 2A5 tanks successfully fulfilled their mission. However, by early 2001, these tanks were replaced by the Leopard 2A4 model. Moving forward to October 2003, Canada was preparing to replace its Leopard C2s with wheeled striker mobile gun systems. However, their experience in Afghanistan highlighted the critical role of making a tank fleet. The Leopard 2A6s, borrowed from Germany, demonstrated their mettle in Afghanistan, effectively resisting improvised explosive device attacks, contributing to victories in several encounters with the Taliban. In Syria, Turkey operated 354 Leopard A24 tanks against ISIS as part of Operation Euphrates Shield. The tanks faced significant challenges, with a number of them being destroyed or damaged by ISIS using anti-tank missile systems. Fast forward to May 2023, Ukraine deployed a number of Leopard 2s to the Russo-Ukrainian war against Russia. Despite their presence on the battlefield, several Leopard 2 tanks fell victim to Russian drone strikes, illustrating the volatile nature of modern warfare. The Leopard 2 stands as a testament to relentless human ingenuity and to the tireless quest for advancement in the art of armored warfare. It symbolizes power, protection, and a firm stand against tyranny. Each battle scar it bears narrates a story of courage, of survival, and indeed of the very essence of conflict. Yet the saga of the Leopard 2 is far from over. As the world stage evolves and new arenas of conflict arise, the tank adapts, it evolves, always ready for the trials that lie ahead. Its formidable design and state-of-the-art upgrades keep it at the forefront of modern warfare, a consistent player in the grand game of power. Yet, looming on the horizon, a new rival stirs. The rising dragon from the east, China, has begun to unveil its own brand of armored might, a challenge that could well equal or even surpass the power of the Leopard 2. That, however, is a tale for another time. And there you have it. Is the Leopard 2 the world's most formidable tank? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, check out the channel for some more amazing tales from history.